boss, I think I broke my hand. I'm sorry, look how pretty that weeping tree looks. Good morning, boss. Good morning. It's actually a little later. It's about 10.30. Um, it's but raining. as you can boss, see, yeah. The boss had me trying to go out and mow a lawn in this and finish a mulch job, but I said, you know, we can't <laughs> be doing that. It's raining. I was I was starting to be miserable because I don't like working in the rain but so we really do have a lot of um, errands to run estimates look at for moles. two job moles. for two mowing and then we have to yeah moles, look at moles 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 guys anybody know a good way to get rid of moles yeah we're right now we're using the mole repellent and we're doing our second app I did it last night on everybody so I'm hoping it gets rid of them and once it does because this stuff's very expensive right oh, yeah wait, you're going, going to the wrong spot but going to the wrong house. oh you should have checked that anyway what them oh, so, to see if they're long yeah now. to see if it's growing so all right well you guys can come along with us to do some errands and um don't forget to check out that spring into action webinar that's scheduled for march 24th am i gonna be on it i think you're gonna be on it oh, yes. <laughs> all right we'll see Are you, you soon gonna be on it? i think i'm gonna be on it too <laughs> we'll see how that goes yeah so carl is back there we're at ups freight and he is waiting for a gift. Do you guys see that? <laughs> it's really an orchard ladder. What did you get? I picked up a ladder. An orchard ladder? Oh, I want that thing over there. What is it? I have no a idea. A small house? Like a hippie house? Um, so what did you get? It's called an orchard ladder that somebody had sent to us. What? It is, I, I have to say. It's going to make it a lot safer to get up on a ladder. Yes. And easier. So we have to say thank you very much to one of our subscribers. Um, his name is John and we really appreciate it. Yes, we do. You need to put your seatbelt on. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, safety first, guys. Yes. PPE, S is this personal protection? <laughs> yes. So this subscriber was actually going to, um, he contacted us and he was actually going to send us one of his older ladders. He had three of them said that he doesn't really use all three of them um but he wanted to give us a gift and when he found out how much it was to ship it's like crazy <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah it was ridiculously crazy to ship um he ended up buying coral a ladder and shipping it from the place that he bought it from yeah. so um, Which was, we, we appreciate it. Uh, we really unbelievable. Do. It's just... Honestly, it truly has made... I mean, I enjoy doing landscaping and lawn care. I do. It's my passion. But it makes it so much... Uh, it makes it much more enjoyable when we're, what we're doing with YouTube and everything. It, it really does make it... we got to go to West Asheville now, right? Yeah. It does make it very enjoyable and exciting almost when you just to be able to interact with everybody else that's in this community. I mean, when we started this, how many years ago did we start mowing and doing all the landscaping? There wasn't yeah. many people out there that you could get advice from. No, not you know, at all. To. We kind of guessed all on our own. Yeah. Had a few, had help from the, a couple guys. Uh, uh, one yeah, guy Keith. in particular that I met here because of Rachel. Right, okay, so that was like our biggest thing is meeting somebody here, another landscaper here. That and was just, willing to talk to you back then. You right, know I mean? and, and I just came straight out and said who we are and, you know, we want to do this comparison price shop and it really has helped. And still was 
very difficult to figure out. Because everybody's area is completely it different. It is. I mean, we could be charging $45, $50 to mow a lawn that is maybe 5,000, 6,000 square foot and somewhere else, like where lawn cares year round, it would be $25, $30 for that lawn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just the areas are completely different on pricing. And that's why it's kind of everybody hesitates to throw out there like what they would charge because everything's different. It's just amazing. And, you know, we just don't even know how to express our gratitude. You guys say that we motivate you. Well, you guys motivate us. And I would honestly, all the people who comment on our stuff routinely and are there watching all the videos that we put out, I hope one day to meet everyone in person. You know, yeah. that would be amazing to meet all the people that have commented, that we've gotten to know. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they're. I mean, For I sure. consider them good friends. Now. So we plan to be at GIE again in 2018. And, and we're bringing the whole family. Yes, and we promise that we will do better at telling everybody where we're going to be. It just was so overwhelming, our first season. Yes. Um, so, yeah. But, all right, well, we just wanted to take you along with some of the errands today. And yeah, we went and looked at a whole bunch of plants and found out we can get really nice plants at a plant farm. So oh, just man. a busy, crazy day. I guess I have to get off over here then. I okay, I better find an address. We'll talk to you later. What, what do you have me working in? What's the matter, boss? <laughs> it's only some flurry. Yeah, boss, I can't even see the mountains out there anymore. Oh, man. Man, that wind's blowing all over the road. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Bradford pear trees bloom and snow falling down. Boss has got me out here work. <laughs> you can see guys, it's a little windy and snowy out here. The boss is uh, in the truck saying, she told me she had to email a plant list over to the nursery. So she says, she probably doesn't want to come out in the cold. No, she's really sending that over. So we have this mulch, we got to get four yards, and then I have a half a yard in the back to go finish another job. But I'll show you the beds that we are going to do up there and we're going to get started. Hopefully we can get this done pretty quick. Why does it look like it's snowing? Yeah, why does it? So I didn't get a time lapse of us prepping and doing this bed only because the phone died. So this is the after of this bed. So put that over there and now I'm going to do that. So I'm 
comes on this little bed right here. All the edging. Rachel finished the other one. The hardest part is to Done and Carl thinks that we can drag this. I'm out of freaking breath. <laughs> we'll see. Hold on. You don't think we can drag? Let me help you. You're crazy. So Rachel's finishing blowing off this this mess. We're obviously we're not done yet. over here because that's the neighbor's yard but we'll make that look better and we take that put that back there but I need to get everything off the ground because it's cold and we're done for this one for today we're gonna we have six yards to do in the back still so up that hill but uh we're gonna do that probably tomorrow or Friday right now we're gonna the boss has to go potty that's the only reason we're hurrying um but we're gonna go finish one yard half a yard of to another job and then we're gonna pick up the leaves there and then I think we're done for the day but it is really cold out here and windy so she's not happy working when it's too cold so we wanted to put some mulch around this weeping tree right here and we have to try to get some of these leaves because the township never picked them up ridiculous I know that grass is gonna be all dead over there I know what are you gonna do? boss I think I broke my hand I'm sorry look how pretty that weeping Tree Boss, I think I broke my hand. I'm sorry, look how pretty that weeping tree looks. Boss, I think I broke my hand. I'm sorry, look how pretty that weeping tree looks. Boss, I think I broke my hand. I'm sorry, look how pretty that weeping tree looks. Boss, I think I broke my hand. I'm sorry, look how pretty that weeping tree looks. I know. So remember that pile of leaves that we put here? The township never picked it up, and we aerated and seeded this lawn too. So, we're gonna need to seed that. <laughs> but look at how lo nice the rest of the lawn looks. Except for all the onions. Yeah. But it looks a lot greener. Well, these aren't fertilized, they're just. Yeah, we're Boss needs to push record. I just talked for 20 minutes without. I don't know if I didn't have enough memory on my phone or what, but we just did a whole ending video. So we and then realized that we, we just didn't. finished them too, and it's a kind of a short day. It was cold and miserable, but we yeah. wanted to get the one done so we could build it out. And the next one, we have six more yards to do in the backyard. About we've already done about six, seven yards. Well, we've done six yards. We have probably about seven or eight more. And we were just talking, boss, on how we seen a comment where somebody said, good thing you didn't get the big job, big commercial jobs, because you might not have time for these other projects that we picked up. Like the one install, then we might, we're definitely probably going to have another install. Yeah. But, so we were saying how I personally would rather stay on the uh, residential side of the business. If I get estimates on commercial, I'm not saying I won't do it. Right. But I'd rather stay on the residential because I think it's more personal with your clients. There's they, more loyalty more there. More loyalty. They see when you're out there busting your hump and making their yard look perfect, they tend to see it all the time and they yeah. talk. Commercial properties, I see a lot. They don't. You don't really put edges on commercial properties. Not, not around here. And it's a little more rushed. Not saying that it doesn't look good. It's just a little bit more rushed. And you know the owner of, I don't know, one of the gas stations if there's a whole chain of them they're not coming out and seeing you work at every single gas station right. and say man these people bust their hump right all your residentials do they they see you busting your butt mm -hmm. and then in return if you are busting your butt you get them back every you year. get them back every year and then that's another thing that we were saying is that you know we are now eight years into business and it is 
finally paying off. Yes. You know, whereas we thought that we were going to put money into wrapping the truck this year and, you know... And we, um, we are eventually, but we put it on hold. Yeah. Because we just have too many estimates and, th and that's a good thing. But, like... Rachel eventually, said, we are going to have to hire and we understand that. But right now... We I'm are not ready to do that. No, we're working on ourselves and streamlining. And, and we, yes, we have things we can do that make our job quicker, to where we'll cut time, and then once that better happens, equipment goes up, and then we can mm -hmm. yeah better equipment. Shoot, I remember you know we see some of the guys like it's uh, we're busting my butt. How do you get to work? Yeah, I have this equipment that's not the best. Well, I used to complain all the time. Yes, I used five to years ago something would break. And, and be, he would call me and say, that's it, I'm quitting. I'm done, I quit. We're we both getting money. jobs. We can't do this. Um, so just stick to it. I Keep mean, on busting your butt. Yes. Remember, it could always be worse. Mm -hmm. It could be. And there's no reason to just not be happy. <laughs> and once again, guys, we appreciate every one of you guys that comment. We really, we enjoy the interaction. And I hope one day for all the people who comment regularly and who are part of our channel, I hope we can meet everybody one day. Yes, I would love it to would be everybody. fun. All right, well, thanks for watching. And, and remember, be happy. And anybody up north in these nor'easters, stay safe. And yeah. make sure you're drinking water when you're out shoveling snow and yeah. plowing.